We've seen the biggest jump in months of inventory since August of 2023 in Rockland. Hi, we're Brandon and Vanessa here with your Rockland, California market update for October 2023. Let's talk about some nope, real estate. it is not 2023. Oh, what 2024. The? You can't even get the month right. I'm not, we're not even going <laughs> to cut that. It's not the month, it's the year. Yeah, you can't even get the year right. <laughs> we're not going to cut that. We're going to let that go because this is real life. Let's talk about, let's, let's talk about <laughs> active homes for sale in Rockland. So let's look at the graph. Right now, there are 118 homes active for sale. Uh, there are 67 pending and 46 that have sold. Uh, we're, we're hitting a low for the last six months of sold houses, which isn't a surprise with the election and the interest rates and everything going on. Let's look at the average price per square foot. So average price per square foot has been going kind of fluctuating up and down, but it's it's up quite a bit from last month, uh, from 326 to 338. Um, that could just be due to uh, the different size of houses selling. So it's hard to gauge that, uh, but uh, we'll keep an eye on that. So when we're looking at the average listing price versus the average sold price, it has been at 96% for the last two months in the row. So basically that means that whatever they're listing at, they're selling for 96% of that list price, which is indicative that you have a little bit more negotiating power when submitting offers for buyers. For sellers, that's gonna mean that you gotta be open to lowering that price or realistic in what you listed at in the first place. Now, if we're looking at average days on market, we're at the highest we've been in a very long time at 47 days. Uh, this is the average time it takes a house to go from active to pending um, in contract. And as this number has grown and grown and grown, we gotta continue to watch that because that that's a long time. I mean, it, it wasn't a short few years ago where it was like, seven days was a long time right so uh mm -hmm. so we're seeing it creep up and all we need is a little help with those interest rates even yeah. though the fed cut rates the interest rates didn't lower as much as we thought so i think it's interesting that when you look at the graph you're seeing 47 days on market the last time it was 47 days on market that was december of last year so think about it people it was Christmas time. It was a thick of holidays. It was in the middle of, you know, preparing for New Year's and it was 47 days. The 47 days we're looking at right now is September. So we haven't even hit that space of holiday, you know, busyness and all of that. So we will definitely have to keep an eye on average days on market. All right, average for sale price coming in at $886,000. The average sold price is coming in at $759,000. So we have the biggest jump of inventory since August, 2023. That's true. August, 2023. We I have you're right. it from 1.9 months of inventory to 2.6, so 0.7 months of inventory. That's huge. And it's really who it's huge for is buyers. Uh, buyers have more opportunity. There are more houses to look at. There are sellers that need to sell that they may be able to negotiate a better deal. And so I'm telling all my clients, I'm like, guys, let's get you into contract now. Interest rates will change. We know that they will go down next year. You could potentially refinance, but you're gonna get a better deal now at this time of the year heading into the winter than you would during the summer. So uh, I hope that's helpful to you. You know, there's a lot of uncertainty in the market with interest rates, Fed cut the rates, and they, they lowered and then, and then got higher. And we just have all of these different things swirling around uh, with the elections. So I, I know that right now is still a good time to buy. Absolutely. Um, based on the inventory, it is a great time to buy in my opinion. But hey, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to us. And if you are a buyer and are worried about interest rates, there's actually an option for you to renegotiate your interest rate once you have it locked in. If you have questions about that, reach out to us.